Hi everyone, it's me, Teacher Alex. For your art class, we are going to talk about visual substance in the environment and visual artwork. So for this unit, we are going to talk also about the basic elements of art. Lines, colors, shapes, forms, and surface are visual elements of different things found in nature. The environment and visual artworks, observation, creativity, and basic skills practice help us create well-designed visual artwork. But before we start, let's talk about first the vocabulary for your unit one. Number one, application. Application. Number two, appreciate, appreciate. Number three, bas relief, bas relief. Number four, curve, curve. Number five, dimension, dimension. Number six, disjointed, disjointed. Number seven, environment environment number eight high relief high relief number nine pattern pattern number ten sculpture sculpture number eleven skillful skillful number twelve spiral spiral number thirteen surface surface number 14 vibrant vibrant number 15 visual visual those are our vocabulary for your unit one so i want you to practice the word how to read and spell okay for your vocabulary i need you to write it on your art notebook now let's begin with environment environment is everything that is around us it can be living or non-living things next is visual arts visual arts are art forms such as drawing painting sculpture and architecture so that is the differences between environment and visual arts. So in visual arts, you can use the environment as your subject in your drawing, in your painting, sculpture, or in architecture. Drawings in visual artwork need to have basic elements, shape, form, line, color, and surface, as you can see in the following pictures. Now, let's begin our basic elements of visual arts with line. Line is a mark or a stroke. Okay, example, vertical, horizontal, zigzag, curve, spiral, angle, wavy, and touch line. Line is a path of a moving point. It is a starting place for most art creations. It is the most basic and fundamental visual element. So what do we know about lines? There is an endless number of lines that you see and use in art. We use line in all art creations at some point or in some degree. Here are just a few examples. Line is used for sketching, gesture and contour drawing. All shading techniques are based on the use of lines. Whether straight strokes are used or curved ones, parallel marks or cross hatching, they are all using some kind of line drawing. Next is shape. Shape a two-dimensional or 2D 
it has length and width. Letter C is form, a three-dimensional or 3D. It has length, height, and width. Examples, cone, cube, sphere, cylinder. Everything we see around us is a shape or a form. Shapes and forms define objects in space. What do we know about them? Shape is a defined area that is flat or two-dimensional. Form is a defined space that has depth or has a third dimension. In visual arts, shape and form are defined by other elements of art. Shape and form can be defined by line. Line and shape almost always work together. There is an endless number of shapes and forms. There are simple shapes and there are complex shapes. Complex shapes and forms are just a combination of other shapes. How do we classify them in all their variety? All shapes and forms fit into two types – geometric and organic. So what do we consider as geometric shapes? Shapes and forms that are precise, they have a specific name, like square, circle, triangle, cone, sphere, for example. They are often man-made, even though we find these shapes in nature as well. Most organic shapes and forms are irregular, they can be found in nature, and most of them do not have a specific name. These shapes and forms are mostly curvy and free-flowing. Letter D. Color. Color is the element of art that is produced when light striking an object is reflected back to the eye. Color is the most expressive element of art. What is color? Color is not something you can feel, smell, taste, or touch. Color is the way you see light. So, in order to see color, we need light. We see color when white light is refracted through a prism. Refracted light creates a spectrum. Prism breaks a white beam of light into six colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. This is how droplets of water create a rainbow. Objects absorb some rays and reflect others. The rays that the object reflects determine its color. Color is how we see light reflected from a surface. Different objects reflect and absorb different light rays. White surface will reflect all light rays. A green apple, for example, would reflect only green light and absorb all other light rays. And the last one is surface. Surface, quality of a work of art. So we have there the line, shape, form, color. Or the texture. It talk about the result of your artwork, of your creativity. The elements of art can be observed in the beauty of nature. I hope you understand our lessons. And for now, let's proceed in writing so i want you to write those basic elements of art in your art notebook if you're going to copy just pause the video